What makes substance abuse a problem in the workplace? The following might be some ways that an employer quantifies substance abuse and to be an issue. According to the American Council for Drug Education, substance abusers have a higher risk of accidents, have lower productivity, they raise insurance costs, and reduce profits. Compared to employees who are not substance abusers, abusers are ten times more likely to miss work, or three and a half times more likely to be involved in an accident, file five times, or five times more likely to file a workers' comp plan. They are three times more likely to have higher health care costs and are a third less productive. According to OSHA, up to 20% of people who die from on-the-job accidents are found to have alcohol or other drugs in their system. The industries with the highest rates of drug usage are also the highest rates, are the industries with the highest rates of occupational industries, these being construction, mining, manufacturing, and wholesale. A few statistics from the International Labor Organization on alcohol. Up to 80% of alcohol-related incidents are from people who are moderate to low drinkers. This is only because your numbers are so much greater. In the United States of America in 1985, it is estimated that $70 billion was lost because of alcohol. That amount may now be up to $134 billion annually. From a BNET article, greater than one in three employees ages 18 to 25 are binge drinkers. In general, six out of 10 employees know of somebody who has reported to work while under the influence. Up to 40% of industrial fatalities and up to 47% of accidents are linked to alcohol. Now for some reasons why substance abuse is a problem in the workplace from a personal perspective. In terms of healthcare premiums, substance abusers raise everyone's premiums, even if you're not a substance abuser. Increased visits to doctors, dentists, psychiatrists, etc. The increased usage may take away from those who are not substance abusers. As was previously stated, substance abusers are more likely to miss work. If you're already stressed out, having somebody missing might add to your stress levels. And again, you're a loner, might not. <laughs> then again, if they do show up to work, they are more likely to make mistakes and will have lower productivity. If you're working in an environment with heavy machinery, it is repeated ad nauseum that safety is a high priority. Being focused and adapting to where people and objects are around you is critical. Many drugs have the effect of slowing down a person's reaction time. On the other end of the spectrum are drugs which may hasten thought, but may reduce the ability to discern what is safe to do. Accidents will happen regardless, but to willingly increase this risk is not a good idea.